Good afternoon. My name is Joe Cashwell with Rotocraft RC. What's up, Joe and Rotocraft RC? Team Ninja here, coming to you taped from Hughesville, Maryland. This week's short video is about the company that we use to do our printing for our wraps and our logos for our cases. Now I know y'all have seen our Rotocraft RC logo. This is the decals that we use to put on all of our cases. We have several different sizes from little bitty ones all the way up to the big two and a half inch one. This was actually designed by Dave at True Blue and he did the Rotocraft RC logo for us also. But we met with Joe and Travis Reyes at Team Ninja and they're the ones that actually print these for us. It's done with a Gerber Edge. It's a resin printer. Does phenomenal job. Stands up with UV and it's just so crisp. We love it. So some of the other logos that everybody always sees is the round circles that are in the middle of our fans. And then on all of Ethan's equipment, his helicopters, his FPV and his cases and stuff, it always has the pilot logos. Rumor has it that this is what Team Ninja started doing the heli business and the RC business was doing the, the pilot names. And then my favorite wrap. This is for one of the small eye chargers. This is an American flag wrap that Joe and Travis did for us. It's just phenomenal. We've put this in several cases, including our police officer honors cases, and we just love this wrap. They do such a good job. And they're a small family. I mean, it's just, you can't ask for any better. So we've got some questions for Travis and Joe. What we did is we put out a whole list of questions and we emailed it to them. They answered all the questions and I'm going to edit them together. So this question is for Joe and Travis. How long have you been doing RC? I've been doing RC for about three years. I started in 2012 and I've loved it ever since. I've been doing RC for about 40 years, but just recently got into the helicopter scene the past three years also along with Travis. So what all items do you guys do that's RC related? Travis and I do um, vinyl. We create wraps for a lot of the pilots in the helicopter community. And uh, that's pretty much related to the RC and everything else we do is related to R either RC or lacrosse. Travis. Who are your sponsors that have supported you over the years? The sponsors that have supported me um, are Team Ninja, BK Servos, Cyclone Blades, Goblin USA, Scorpion Motors, Pulse Batteries, V-Bar Electronics, Heli Direct, and last but not least, Papa Cashwell at Rotocraft RC. I like this one. How did you learn how to do graphics? I learned how to do graphics by um, my dad teaching me. It started when I wanted pilot names when I was younger when I first started flying helicopters. And then other people saw those pilot names and wanted them. So I was just uh, more of like an extra help so that's how he taught me. How long have you been doing graphics? I've been doing graphics um, since 2001. Uh, we sold the company. Uh, the final sign shop, we sold the company and took the equipment back, so it's just been sitting in our basement till about uh, 2013, and that's when uh, well, Travis here decided he wanted to make some pilot names for his helicopters, and the local pilots in their area started wanting pilot names for their helicopters, and that's all she wrote, kind of blew up from there. How amazing is it that you can tie doing wraps and graphics together with your RC friends? It's been pretty cool um, mixing the, the wraps and the helicopters together. You get to meet a bunch of cool people at the events that we go to. Um, again, it's, it's just a fun hobby, and both the graphics and the helicopters are, are a hobby of ours. So we're not we're not making money off this, and we probably never will, and we'll probably never be a company because when you become a company, then it's no longer fun. I bet you're traveling all around and going to a bunch of fun flies. You meet a lot of amazing people. How do you enjoy that? 
it's pretty cool uh, meeting uh, new people at the events with their stories. Um, you know, we've done all kinds of different details for the LA guys. We did a guy at uh, uh, in California. We did some like special ribbons, ribbon decals for his helicopters for a, a cancer that he has. Um, we've done a lot of pink ribbon helicopter wraps and or not helicopter wraps, but radio wraps. But again, everybody's got their own story and. A lot of their, their stories go into our designs. Travis, who was your top three role models? Who got you to where you're at now? My top role models are Joe Reyes. Um, he drives me everywhere and he pays for all my helicopters. Um, my other one is Justin Harris. Um, he's, he's a local pilot and a great person. Um, he taught me a lot of things that I know now. Also, uh, John, Jonathan Walker, um, he taught me a lot of stuff that I know now, and he's just a great person to hang out with. Um, Christopher Diamante and Kyle Stacy, they're, they're like kind of brothers to me because they're, they're just a blast to hang out with, and um, they're kind of like, I just feel comfortable being around them, and uh, that's it. Hey, Joe. Working with your son and teaching him how to build relationships and learning a trade at the same time, how rewarding is that? It's uh, pretty rewarding working with this fool. Um, he's fun to hang out with and you know, I have an older son that uh, I hang out, hang, out, hang out with also, but unfortunately he doesn't fly helicopters. Um, every once in a while he'll fly. He can fly, he just doesn't, uh, he's not as into it as Travis is. But again, it's, it's pretty rewarding just hanging out and being with my kids and uh, enjoying the same passion that I enjoy. All right, Travis, you're gonna like this one. How often are you doing something with your dad and you say, Dad, I think we should do it this way. And what's Joe's reaction? Um, I never say it because he's always right. And I don't think I'm ever gonna have to say it ever again. But yeah, that's it. What future plans do you have for doing wraps in the hobby? Is it something you're comfortable with or you plan on growing? No future plans for the hobby. Just uh, you know, doing it for the fun of the, the hobby and the love of the hobby. And a lot of people want us to start a company and do this full time, but uh, first of all, there's not a lot of money in the heli scene. And if we start doing it for money and it becomes a business and a job that it no longer is fun. So we're just going to keep going the way we're going. And if people don't mind waiting for months, weeks, sometimes even a year or two for these reps, then more power to you guys and we'll keep uh, making them as long as you don't mind waiting. And how crazy is it that you're famous for doing wraps and doing these printing for all the RC guys? What do you feel about that? <laughs> it's pretty crazy that uh, we're famous <laughs> doing these wraps, uh, going to events where we don't even know anybody. You know, they, they come up to us with open arms and everybody just makes us feel at home, which is one of the greatest things about this hobby is everybody gets along with everybody. For the well, we met Joe and Travis, my family and I, met Joe and Travis at an RC Fun Fly and we, they're like our second family ever since. Whenever we go to a Fun Fly that they're going to be there, it's just we know it's just going to be that much more fun and enjoyable. <laughs> they're some crazy little ninjas they are. But anyways, we hope you learned something out of this. Please remember, support the little Kai. There, there's so many companies out there that are small family business, husband and wife business, and they support the hobby more than some of the biggest companies on the planet. Remember. do everything his way and um, he doesn't let me do anything my way so um, if I don't do it his way I'm probably gonna get beaten or something taken away 
tell. Usually I just have to do his part. Because he likes to do everything his way. And, um, I like love these mind. guys. Yeah.